Hi friends, welcome back to Anna Nail School English channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a new product that I tried recently. So these are called Aurora Non-Stick Solid Gel and I did extensions using these uh, gels. So I'm going to show you how I did it. But before I start, if you wish to see this tutorial in Hindi language, please head to my Hindi channel. Link is in the description box. So I used dual forms to build nails using these non-stick uh, solid gels. And these are the three colors that I purchased. If you wish to buy them, I will add the links in the description box. I am not very familiar with this particular brand that the name is printed on this. But this was from an Instagram um, seller. So uh, they have actually four different colors. I picked up three because these were like my most favorite ones. So this comes in like these plastic pouches. And when you open it, it's totally sealed. You can peel off that, uh, you know, seal and then you can start using it. So I already opened them. And as you can see, as I mentioned, these are solid gels solid gels means uh, it's more of a hard form of the gel and as you can see they they have like a very thick viscosity they are very thick normally these types of gels are used to do like 3 3d uh, you know sculpting so if you wanted to do like a um, uh, 3d puppy face or something these are the best things okay but here this one has a aurora effect and if you put it on top of a black background this will give like a um, northern light uh, effect so that's what i think so now uh, like i said i did the extensions using dual forms so before we get into the actual extension part i thought i'll just walk you through a little bit about uh, dual forms I have here three different types of dual forms this is the first one this is from model ones and as you can see this one has like a curvy shape and it's a long square curvy shape if you like like that really curvy nail extension then these uh, dual forms are perfect for you and as you can see this has a deep uh, you know gap uh, inside so that you can also build the apex when you are filling in the product and putting it and curing it okay now the second one this is from a brand called Renara it's an Indian brand so this is like a Russian almond dual form so I just wanted to show you different types of dual forms there are many more uh, different shapes uh, sizes and shapes of these dual forms but these are the three that i have again uh, if you want like really deep uh, curvy russian almond then you can use this one and the third one is um, this particular form this is more of like a almond nail friendly you can say because this is perfect uh, it it doesn't it does not mean that you can only create almond nails you can create any shape but this is perfect for almond nails in my opinion okay so i'm going to use this particular dual form for our uh, today's uh, video so i have already measured the tips and i uh, just kept it aside and now our first step is i already did the dry manicure uh, dry manicure means you push back your cuticle you remove all the dead skin shine from the nail plate and then you clean it with alcohol wipes and lint free and then you start with your dehydrator primer so all those steps i have already done off camera so now since we are doing a gel uh, product so i'm starting with the gel base okay so i'm using tnt's uh, soak of base coat i'm applying a very thin layer and i cured it uh, for 30 seconds and then i'm going to start with the uh, extension process so as you can see i used my dual foam to scoop a like good bead from the uh, container itself and then uh, since the hard gel has a really tight texture we can really i mean you can use a brush but uh, that will um, I don't know I was skeptical to use a brush because it's as you can see I'm putting all the pressure in the world to like make it stick or spread it okay so I used a orange wood stick you can also try a brush um, that's totally up to you and uh, using the orange wood stick I pushed it down and I spread it uh, all the way to the free edge the end of the tip and when you do this make sure that uh, the cuticle area is thin center is thick and then again towards the free edge it has to be thinner but when i say thinner that doesn't mean paper thin you have to make sure that there is enough product to uh, support the whole architecture of the enhancement okay so uh, in case if you want uh, you can also use a little bit of alcohol in between to make sure that your uh, 
orange wood this orange wood stick is not sticking to the gel so i just dipped it in the alcohol wipe a little and then i came back and i started pressing it down so make sure the uh, product is completely covered uh, corner to corner in the dual form before you apply it so this way i spread it across and this is how it looks you can turn it and see if it's like reached all the corners and then i'm going to place it but not super close to the uh, cuticle a little margin you can leave and then you are going to just press it down like this now the best part about solid gel is that when you press down if it's a builder gel you have to keep that hold even for the poly gel you have to keep that hold okay but solid gel you can leave it and it won't move an inch okay and then i am using a table lamp to uh, you know flash cure the um, cuticle area and then um, i have to also level up the product underneath the free edge area okay so here i am uh, curing it for like 10 15 seconds so that uh, my nail is in place when i start moving the bottom side the uh, the shape won't be disturbed okay so uh, for this type of curing this table lamp is the best and once this is done you have to move on to your proper uh, uv led lamp like minimum 48 watt so here again and at, at the bottom side i'm leveling because when we push it down the product goes uh, like kind of gets accumulated underneath the free edge area so which we need to level up okay so i leveled it up and then i'll send it for the full cure under the uv led lamp after curing it's time for us to pop off the dual form this is the most satisfying part and this is how our extensions looks like now I completed the uh, rest, rest of my nails uh, off camera and now it's time for us to file. So here I'm using a 180 grit file and I'm not going to file the whole nail. I'm only going to file wherever I see there is a little imperfection. And if you get it like completely right, then you don't have to really file it. That's another best part of it. So here um, what I noticed during the filing part these kind of gels have like a rubbery resistance uh, so filing is a little challenging when I removed this that time also I felt that uh, it was creating a little bit of a heat uh, when I say heat it's not that I'm putting pressure because I'm very well versed with electric fire but this product uh, has kind of a rubbery resistance and it was creating kind of heat okay so we are done with the filing shaping and everything as you can see the nails are already ready there one or two nails there was a little extra gap which i did not fill with the product uh, i decided to add some stones and stuff to cover that gap especially my ring finger and the middle finger and i also applied a no wipe top coat and then cured it so the stones uh, covered up the gap so um and overall it just looked like a magic potion it looked really beautiful and uh, this is the final look so filing was a little challenging i must say uh, because of the texture and but the the hard work was totally worth it and this is how our nails look like and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like it please don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel turn on the notification all those good things and i'll see you soon on my next video and like I said in the beginning, if you wanted to see this video in the Hindi language, uh, please head to my Hindi channel. Link is in the description. Thank you for watching.